Hello and uh, welcome back. Today I have a very little uh, SWR power meter and it has a battery inside. So I think uh, it is great for mobile use. Uh, it was sent to me by uh, the All for Ham store. It is on AliExpress and they also have a second store. It's going to be a love, I think, for my Spanish speaking uh, viewers. Uh, but that is the, the Poto Lab store. Well, so the All for Ham store, Poto Lab store. Uh, it was sent for free, uh, but I still, of course, going to have, uh, have a look if it is good or not. It is in this little box. And uh, it says, uh, it's just uh, brownies, high-end two-way radio accessories. So here it is, protected, uh, no manual. Let's see, oh yeah, oh, it is really small. <laughs> SWR power meter, SWR U120 and it has an A, B and C button, it has a charge light, it has a full light and it has an alert. It is OLED display. In the back we have a USB-C. Always good to see that. And they finally stop using those crappy USBs. Uh, on off, transmitter antenna. AM, FM, SSB. I did ask, uh, the SSB is uh, average. I ask maybe in a future software update, I also can do a peak, but for now it is, uh, the engineers will have a look, I was told. So maybe at some point it is C2V from BG5 CQV. So it has uh, two, uh, two PL plugs, so that usually already explains the frequency used and uh, well it didn't come with the manual but I found the specs on uh, on AliExpress and the range should be from 1.8 to 50 megahertz 0 0.5 to 120 watts uh, continuous and for a short period it can even do 210 it says accuracy is about 5% it has a thousand milliamps battery you know I don't know how much power it takes but I think you can use it for a while. Well, we need to find out what the buttons do. Uh, it, the lights are explained because there is a red, a green and a yellowish one. And they say when charging, the red light is on. When it is full, the green one will be on. And when the standing wave is greater than 2.5, there will be a, a buzzer will be pulsing. And when it is greater than three, it will have a continuous beep. So that is good for protection. And if you like, you can also switch off the beeper. And then probably this light that says alert will probably go. Okay, well, I did not find a USB cable in the, in the box, but uh, yeah, everyone has uh, probably a USB-C lying around. And uh, so we just plug it in. And it is charging, but I don't see the charge light. And I see that it is using power. Here you can see it's charging with the 0.9 amp. So the light, the LED of the charge probably only works when it is switched on. So let's switch it on. It starts, yeah, and now the charge light is on, okay. Okay, by default it is already in power mode. It says very big the power and then very small the SWR. It also says the battery voltage that we should probably see slowly increasing the A button. What does that do? Okay, we can set the beeper on or off. That is probably for the alert because the button is here in the alert. Then we have the B button. The B button is changing the language and we have now the whole forward power, reflected power and the antenna power. So the forward is just what comes out of the transmitter, then the transmitter is, the reflected is what comes back from the antenna, so they just calculate and then the result will be the power in the antenna. And we can see that in 
Chinese or in English. And what else we can do? Ah, this is also nice. This is better. The power is a little bit smaller, but then the SWR is a little bit better. What happens if we... Uh, no. Then we have just like the start screen, big power, a little bit. SWR, antenna, reflected, and all together. So while the uh, SWR meter is uh, charging, the, the LED is uh, still uh, red. Uh, I'm surprised that if you switch it off that the charge light also goes off because it is still charging. But maybe they didn't want to uh, uh, use the LED too much power that it, uh, the charging will take uh, longer. If we just uh, compare with the two meters here. This is the one I calibrated last week, so we can compare a little bit <laughs> the values, but what a difference. What a difference. So this is really great for mobile use, I think, if it performs well. So um, I will make a little setup, let the meter charge. So I've made a little setup. I have here the, the big dummy load with, with power meter that I restored a few weeks ago. It's an uh, old Felco from the Ford Motor Company, it's KLM, and it is many years old, but I managed to get it working. So uh, I use it as a dummy load, but the power meter also more or less worked. I, I, I tried to fix the, the RF top there, and uh, but I will just compare it to the to the power meter here. I set the transmitter to, to more or less uh, 15 watts, just to see the it goes exactly to the top. So let me check on the Daiwa that was calibrated on the Marconi uh, also a few weeks ago. And then we see what this little boy the thinks of it. Oh, and of course, we the SWR is of course perfect with the dummy load. So I also have here a cable that goes to my uh, end fed up there. And, uh, and we just change the frequency and then we should see that uh, yeah, that the SWR will will change, and we compare that also to the Daiwa. So I'm here with the power meter. Um, yeah, the power meter is set to 17 value 17. It's not 17 watts. I put it here on 15. So here it's about 15 watts the meter thinks, but it's old and analog, so it could be a little bit more if I go a scale down. It even thinks it is uh, about 15. So, okay, let's put it to the diver. Okay, well, I mounted the diver. I put it first on top, but then the shadow, you can't really see the needle. So let me hold it like this. And you can see the diver is to its limit. So it's maybe 16 watts. I go one scale up. And you can see it is indeed a little bit, or it's 15, or it's a little bit higher. So, okay. Yeah, and it indeed thinks it's a little bit more. It's 16. And... It was indeed a little bit more than that 15. It is 16.6. .6. And uh, we can cycle through the through the options here. Here it says SWR is uh, one, 100%. So that also means if we go here, it is one very big. The antenna, that is 16.6. .6. The forward is 16.5. Reflected is zero, so that makes the antenna gets exactly the same as the forward. Okay, let's do a little bit more. Let's put it to full power. Let's do 100. It thinks it is 95, around 95. But the dummy load is doing uh, pretty good because uh, it is still. SWR1 as it should with the proper dummy mode. Yeah, no problems here. 
let's see on the Daiwa if it is indeed around this 94.95. Okay, here you can see I'm still to the full power. 100. Zoom in a little bit. If we transmit, it is almost hitting the 10 and it is above the 9. So, yes, compared to the Daiwa, the power meter seems to do fine on FM. And now I like to do a test with uh, average uh, SSB power. So I hope you can see the needle here. This one will be a little bit slow, but it will probably. So I will whistle, it will be noisy. And let's see where it, uh, it goes. So it was between 8 and 9, so between 80 and 90 watts on the average setting here. Um, yeah, let's see how they do this with the smaller meter. Well, for the smaller meter, I'll zoom in a little bit and we will do the same. It is a little bit faster and well, the SWR is, is good, so we can also do just uh, the big meter. Well, it looked to be that on the SSB, on the average power, that there was a little difference. My Daiwa said, oh, it is, it's between 80 and sometimes touching 90. And uh, on this meter, we saw that it was 90 and even a little bit more. So, but that is also how is this uh, average uh, SSB power calculated or how is it done? And maybe the digital is just faster. And this one is a little bit a uh, bit slow but it is not like a huge difference so uh, either way for me um, much more important does the whole SWR work in it so I will be plugging in the, the Daiwa first and I will just put my uh, transmitter of course not on full power because I'm not having an antenna tuner right now in between and I will just find the uh, on low power frequency that we have exactly uh, a 1.1 SWR and uh, antenna transmitter yeah and then we compare it also with the little one like 10 watts and uh, I found the frequency where I get about 10 watts out and 2 watts return so the SWR is not that good but let's have a look on the small one Okay, same setup, but now with the little meter, I have first uh, full screen and it says forward almost uh, 10, I get back 2.1 and on, that means that the antenna gets 7 and a bit and the SWR is 2.7, 2.3, so that is not that good. Power here and the SWR is not good, so that means we are 78% in the end it is not even that bad but that also means that yeah this WR is not very good but that means if we put the alarm it should start beeping because it's more than 2.5 yes it does and will it continuously beep if we really go off the scale? Um, I change the frequency a bit to get it worse. Yes. Yeah, and now it will beep continuously. Okay, and let's see if we also can do lower values. I found uh, frequency that I have 10 watch out a little bit more and I get only one back and the cross is here about two so let's see what the other meter says well I decided to put both meters at the same uh, time and um, so we have about almost 10 and then we have like uh, point 0.8 retour so and it says here that it's SWR of 87 and the buzzer is on and we don't hear the buzzer because it is below 2.5 um, we have more SWR 187 it says here so that means the antenna 
of that 10 that we put in we get only 8.45 and here we have all the values at the same time well another great test is can we can we get it to beep if it goes uh, above this uh, 2.5 according to the manual so well we have now two i just changed the frequency and here it beeps Yeah. So I put it now together with the uh, with the automatic antenna tuner, and I put it in between the the transceiver and the and the antenna tuner. So th then you can use it as an alarm. So this is now a very nice mobile kit with the antenna tuner because it can do well just a little bit more than the internal of the Yaeso. And uh, well, the power meter is silly because we already have the power also here. But I like a lot the alarm. And the buzzer is now on. Let me reset. So now it is uh, untuned. And if I transmit now, it starts beeping because the SWR is close to 3. So now I activate the tuner. Clark. And now the SWR is back to 1.18. And we also hear no complaining anymore. And the uh, power, SWR, and uh, might influence each other a little bit, but here it says 1.16, and here it said 1.3. And uh, on the power, they more or less agree. And of course, uh, we want to have a little look inside. And well, the battery is in the top, it looks good, not swollen. And well, we see again the BG5. And that designed it. It is already the OLED SWR V2. And uh, I don't think this is something to be ashamed of. It looks like proper PCB. Yeah. They took the letters off. Well, these are those standard uh, charge uh, chips. And, uh, yeah, well, the RF tab. The plugs directly soldered on the board. Well, the plugs are very stock, but if they were not, then it could have been a problem. Then I prefer a little wire between of them. But now it is a very short, short connection, which is also another plus then. So, nice little uh, small SWR power meter. The value seemed to make sense that, uh, that it projects. I was, uh, I was not disappointed because the values were more or less what I saw in, uh, on the Daiwa. And uh, yeah, well, for, for here in my lab, I probably would use the Daiwa because I just like the cross needle and I'm kind of old fashioned. So the needles just uh, speak a little bit more. But if you're already from a newer generation, this could absolutely be it. And especially for mobile, because it is super, super small. And uh, well, it is exactly the front size, if you look. It is nice as a pair. But if you have this antenna tuner, well, it also already has the power meter, of course, in the SWR. But I like very much the alarm. So if you're not paying attention or you forgot to tune the antenna, you just get alarmed. Okay, we're getting here in the danger zone. So that is very nice. I like that as an, uh, as an extra, absolutely. Thank you for watching, and uh, I hope to see you next time.